Last week, heads here were tilted skywards to watch planes. Today, they were bowed down in grief. At exactly 1.20, the moment the jet crashed a week ago, the last post was sounded at the start of a minute's silence. For a time today, this became a bridge of sorrows. I feel uh, just terrible, really, for all the people involved and all the families and friends. Shocking. Shocking. We were actually were driving along there just half an hour to an hour before, and it could have been any one of us. It's just rocked everybody. We were here last week and watched it happen and just felt the need to be here. No other reason. It was really sad. I just had to come. The crash happened last Saturday when a vintage jet careered onto the A27. Eight of the 11 who died have now been named by their families during a week when the normality of life was transformed into the bewilderment of loss. In Littlehampton today, the family of Matt Jones, one of the victims, set free these balloons in his memory. When it hits so close to home like this, you know, you can't really describe how it feels and you kind of want to do something and we all, we all can't really do anything else other than, you know, pay a tribute to him. The coroner will formally open inquest next week, but today was a time for reflection on loss and grief for victims of an air show that turned to tragedy. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Shoreham.